So in this video, I want to just introduce the concept of what I call mixed neurological disorders. And by mixed, I mean uh, neurological disorders that often affect both the central and the peripheral nervous system, um, either at the same time or sequentially. Neurological disorders. Because these disorders can affect both the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system, they can lead to fairly complex syndromes that can be quite confusing when trying to determine uh, the location of the lesion. And they can affect many neural functions uh, depending on what parts of the central and the peripheral nervous system are being affected. When these disorders affect the peripheral nervous system, they most often cause a polyneuropathy. Polyneuropathy. And this is usually the most common polyneuropathy syndrome of a length-dependent polyneuropathy. So what we often see are bilateral abnormalities starting at the toes involving the lower neural functions of sensory, motor, autonomic functions that as they progress can move farther up the legs. And then often when they get toward the knees, they start to involve the hands as well. So we can get this fairly typical polyneuropathy pattern. This can occur alone, the polyneuropathy, or uh, it will often precede involvement of the central nervous system. When these disorders affect the central nervous system, what we most often see is a diffuse syndrome involving the cerebral cortex. So we often see bilateral involvement of this outer layer of the brain, the cerebral cortex. Yeah, although there are a few of these disorders that can cause focal abnormalities as well. Several types of pathology may cause mixed uh, central and peripheral neurological disorders, and these can include disorders in the categories of genetic, idiopathic, metabolic, infectious, nutritional, and toxic disorders. So these can be fairly complex disorders to try to diagnose.